Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. So I've been sort of thinking over the past few days about the sort of videos I've been putting up on the channel and about DaVinci Resolve in general. And I've realized that DaVinci Resolve is being used by a lot of beginners to filmmaking because it's a really cheap entry point. It's a free bit of software. It makes sense that if you wanna start video editing, you start with something free. So then I started thinking about what beginners will want to learn. And I realized that a lot of beginners are going out and they're buying new cameras, watching videos on YouTube, and they're being told to shoot in a log format because it's gonna make their picture look better. So in this video, I wanna go over a real quick way to color grade some log footage because if you're shooting in log as a beginner, you don't really wanna get into the nitty gritty of color grading because it can get really complicated. We're gonna show you how to do it really quick and easy. So before we begin guys, if you're new to the channel and you wanna see more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, tech videos, camera videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the thumbs up button on this video if you enjoy it. So today we're gonna to be looking at two S-Log clips shot on an A6300. This is some footage I've downloaded from Max Yuryev. He's a YouTuber and he's just had this footage up there for free. And we're gonna show two methods on color grading. One really, really easy, one a little bit harder, but still really great for beginners. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. You can see here that we have the two clips and they are shot in this log format. So they're really washed out, they're really gray, and that is by design. Shooting in a log format is going to give you a really flat image with the idea being that in post, so in DaVinci Resolve, you can get better highlights, better shadows, so better dynamic range in general. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to the color page here, and we're gonna have a look at two different ways at color grading. So in DaVinci Resolve, you can see if we open the LUTs panel up, we've got a lot of these different ones from different manufacturers. And basically these are LUTs that come pre-installed with DaVinci Resolve that convert log footage into a Rec 709 color space, which is basically what you and I see if we were say recording in the auto mode on our cameras. So if we have a look here, you can see we've got Panasonic, which is V-Log to 709. We also have Sony, which is S-Log 3 to 709. These come pre-installed, and you can also Google and find your own manufacturer. So if you want an S-Log 2 LUT, because this is only S-Log 3, or you want a C-Log, N-Log, whichever camera manufacturer you use, you'll be able to find a free LUT online for it and install it. We've got videos on how to do that on the channel already. And basically, this is a really quick way to convert your log footage and you see if we highlight these LUTs here you can see that the footage is changing in the viewer and it's really really simple with the S what we're going to do is we're going to find one that works well probably this one here double click you can see it adds this grid icon here to say that we've applied that LUT and pretty much that's all we need to do now if this was a bit too intense we can go over to our keying tab here in the color grade and we can adjust the output here and that's just going to basically adjust the intensity and you can see that if I turn this on and off by hitting Command D, and we look at the waveform here, it's really stretching this waveform out by applying that LUT, which is giving us more contrast, better dynamic range in general, and you can see it does make a huge difference. So head on over to Google, find whatever you need for your camera, and then you can just apply the LUT and you don't really have to do much after that. You've got a really usable image. But what if you're like me? What if you shoot on say like a Nikon Z6 or a camera that doesn't have a LUT available so you can slap on? We're gonna show you a really easy way to do it. So we're gonna jump on over to our second clip here. Now, color grading log footage isn't as hard as you might think. There's only two things we really need to do is we need to add contrast back into the image because it's quite flat and we need to add saturation back into the image because again, it's a flat image. All the colors are quite muted and we will do that in that order. We're gonna add the contrast first and then the saturation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, on our first node there, is we're gonna go on over to our curves, and we're gonna do a S curve. And S curve is quite commonly used in photo editing, video editing, because it's basically bringing the shadows down, bringing the highlights up. So if we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here, we're gonna drag down, and you can notice in our waveform, it's bringing all these shadows down. You can make, see making the image darker. When we can click up the top here, we're gonna bring the shadows back up, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it there. Next, we're gonna add a, another node because it's better to make single edits per node. So we can do that by going color, nodes, add serial node. And then we're gonna go over to the color wheels tab. 
And then just down the bottom here, we've got saturation. And here we can just drag, click and drag to add saturation. Now, depending on how saturated you need the image, totally depends on the piece of footage at the time. Um, we're probably gonna just go with like 75 for this particular bit of footage. And right there, if I select those two nodes, turn them off, this is what we had to begin with. This is now what we've got at the end. And then from there, if you wanted to say, chuck say like a stylized LUT on top, you can. This is basically our color correction. So we've corrected the image from a log format to Rec 709. And now from there, we can go and add whatever styles we want, whether that's say like a Peter McKinnon LUT, we could go chuck that on. And we do this after we've corrected the image. So there you guys have it, a really quick and easy way to color grade log footage designed for beginners. So, you know, not super complicated, really easy to achieve. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below as well. What do you want to know in DaVinci Resolve? Any recommendations? I'll try to get to every comment that I can. And until next video, guys, see ya.